morning YouTube. Today is February uh, 18th, Saturday morning. Just wanted to do a quick video, show you guys how I clean my uh, Sprint air fits on my S1000 RR 2015. Hope you guys enjoy. This video is nothing special. Just wanted to put something out there. If you like this video, please check out my other videos. I got a playlist of um, videos for my bike uh, on this YouTube channel specifically. And um, if you guys like it, please like and subscribe. Leave the comments and let me guys uh, let me get you guys a thought. All right, so this is the bike here. Um, so in order to get to the air filter, the air filter is under this cover here and this black cover here. So what you want to do is um, if I got this size of these bolts right here, but it's a tux bolt. Um, all of them are the same. Let's see if I can get ready. Focus on the answer. Uh, focus, baby, focus. Okay, we're back. Tool in hand. Um, that was a focus issue. Okay, tool in hand. And then uh, what you want to do is, is basically just want to go in there. Just twist it off. Push them off all the way around, take the cover off, and then uh, I'm gonna come back and show you what they guys what they look like. Alright, so we got the cover and everything off. Um, so what you want to do now is just basically just take off the cover. Um, underneath is the ECU. So if you're getting the bike flat, that's what you would send the uh, send the grid to the do that. Uh, this is pretty much the cover if you've never taken it off. This is pretty much the cover. And uh, that's pretty much what's underneath it if you never get inside there. So I'm just gonna lay this down. So what I like to do is um, I don't like to disconnect the ECU um, from the bike. Reason is because when I disconnect it, um, I'll get an error code. Not an error code, but it's still you know so it keeps saying service. Da 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 da. -da whenever it says service, and uh, and the bike has already been serviced, and, and then I have to go to the dealership and get it turned off or whatever, but. Well, and then you can't get it turned off because they say it has to keep going until that date. But I don't like doing that, so I just keep it connected and I just pull the whole ECU back. And how I do that is, how I do that is, there's a bolt right here. This one there, you unscrew that. Once you unscrew that, it'll let you pull it back or whatever. So that's what we're gonna get ready to do right now. All right, so we're back after a lot of prowling. I got the boat up, so what you want to do after that now is just pull out the little air filter little cover. This isn't anything, it's just a little plate. Um, so we're just going to place that to the side. Come back over here, and then this is the actual, this is the actual air filter here. Let me just like that. Uh, just want to pull it out. So this hasn't been cleaned in about a while now. So this is the back of it, and this is the front of it. This is a Sprint L32 that I purchased last year. Sometime, I forget. I forgot the exact day when I purchased it. Um, nothing too major, just a lot of dust. I'm trying to trying to get it to focus, but just a lot of dust and dirt. And the first time I cleaned this, um, a couple of months ago, there was a lot of um, bugs in it, but this one just got a little dirt. I mean, there's some little bugs in there, but nothing too major. Um, see the inside. Oh, fuck, you get it in there. Just some dust. Nothing too major, just some little dust down in there. Other than that, it looks clean. It's a little dusty in there. Anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, clean that bad boy now, and then put it back together and go for a little short ride.
All right, so we just got done cleaning out the spread air filter. Um, so after you clean it, I mean, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty simple. I use water when I clean mine. Some people like use a, a um, air pressure, a little nozzle thing and blow out, you know, all the debris and everything. But um, if you don't have that, using water is just fine. Um, it's, it doesn't, you know, get wet or anything. Um, it dries pretty quick is what I'm trying to say. And I just pretty much shook it for like two minutes and everything. It got all the water out and everything. So now everything's pretty much dry and ready to go back in the bike. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the bike real quick and catch it with you guys. All right, so with everything back together, um, she's ready to be started. I'm gonna let her warm up for a little bit. And then I'm gonna run in the house and get ready to go. I just wanna do it this morning. Racing exhaust tip. I'm still on the stock system, just a pro racing exhaust tip. There. Also, uh, remove the um, the little um, the little motor that um, that controls the little servo servo. So that the rear is always open, but the one in the front is still operated by the little servo. Oh, so I don't know if it'll let me go look all the way down there, but. Um, there's a little servo right here, a little servo motor right here that opens and closes due to, you know, when you um, open and close the throttle. But I disconnected it that, so that it's always open. So here we go, cold start. guys so that was that that's the end of today's video 
So like I said at the beginning of the videos, you guys liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more future videos. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to go and wrap this thing. I haven't been on it in like a week due to work and everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe her down and get ready to write it for a little bit. Uh, my ear hurts right now because I just ripped this thing in the garage for you guys, so you guys owe me one. But anyway, thank you for watching and uh, hope you guys stay um, stay around for the future.